Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number second of exercise 12.1. And in this video, we are going to solve its first two parts. And the first part, first of all, you have to simplify and express the result in power notation with positive exponents. Power notation means this expression is expressing power. So this is known as power notation. And positive exponents means the power exponents means this power should be positive. Now for solving this, we are using a formula which says if there is a raised to power n and divide by a raised to power m, if two numbers are divided and if the base are same, so its power is subtracted. So you are we are using this formula here. This can be written as minus 4 raised to power 5. Again, this is divided by minus 4 raised to power 8. And if it is divided, we can write it as 5 minus 8. Same as in this formula. So this power minus this. So this can be written as minus 4. And this is minus 3. And because we have to write it in positive exponents, we means the power should be positive. So we know that if there is a negative power to convert it into positive, we have to shift this whole number to the denominator. So this is how we can solve this first part and this should be the answer. Uh, because we are we have to write it, it in power notation, so no need to further solve this. And in this, we are using a formula again which says if a raised to power 2 is multiplied by 5, so basically we have to multiply its power. So this will be a raised to power 10. And in this case, there is another formula, this is the first. This would be uh, used. This would be used used afterwards. In first, if there is a and b, and if this raised to power two, this means this power should be of a as well as with b. So clearly, when we are writing this, this means a square and two cube whole square and 1 cube is 1 upon again this is same as this so this should be 2 raised to power 3 and raised to power 2 so this can be written as 2 3 multiplied by 2 which is 1 upon 2 raised to power 6 and this can again further be written as 1 upon 2 whole raised to power 6 because 1 raised to power 6 is 1 and 2 raised to power 6 is same as this. So this can be written as this and this is the desired answer for this second part. So this is how you can solve this, these parts. Thank you.